On this episode of the Angle of Attack show, it's upgrade time. Deep in the grasp of winter, it's time for a much needed upgrade to the Flight School's 172. All this time we've been living without a transponder, but now it's time to get legit. North to Northern Lights Avionics in Anchorage, a Stratus transponder was awaiting adoption. My home, Alaska, is also home to some of the last true aviators. My mission? Grow as an aviator through flying with my neighbors and friends in the backcountry and beyond. At times I'll strike out on my own, even outside the 49th state, seeking new experiences, growing skills, staying sharp, and practicing safety. Jump aboard and ride along in this, another chapter of my aviation story. This last winter we went through the process of upgrading our Cessna 172 for our flight school with some new avionics. Since we're in rural Alaska, avionics shops are hard to come by, so I'd have to ferry the airplane up to Anchorage to get this new thing installed. Traffic 2423 uniform taking runway 4 for departure northeast bound straight out. Final's clear. Power's up. Engine is in the green. Airspeed is alive. That center line, she's ready to fly. There we go. It's a beauty on our way to Los Anchorage. And home radio. Can you open up my flight plan? 23 uniform. Number 23 uniform, your fly plan is activated. Have a good trip. Thanks, 23 uniform. Everything's working strong. Producing good power. Pressure and temps look good. Everything nice so far. Leaving some runway behind us. reason I'm going to Anchorage today is because we're installing a transponder in the airplane. We're getting a, an ESGI from Apario and it's going to be going right here on the panel. So this is something we've been looking forward to for a while because it'll really help us increase safety. You see here as I'm flying along, you know, I have options to call air traffic control eventually, but right now because I uh, don't have a transponder, I can't really call them. So I do have a tracker that keeps track of me. Of course, I have a flight plan. But if I also had a transponder, then I could kind of have the trifecta and, uh, and feel a lot safer, always being in contact with somebody. So that's what we're doing. Headed to Anchorage to get that done. It's going to take a few days to get that done. But as of now, just really enjoying this beautiful view as I head up to Anchorage. So hope you guys enjoy the flight. You're about to see the trouble of not having a transponder because I'm going to call up Anchorage Approach and I'm going to get a primary radar flight following into Anchorage. And it's just a pain in the butt. They're probably going to make us turn to identify and uh, it's, it's pretty hard. So I'm going to do that now, see if we can't talk to those guys. Anchorage Approach, Skyhawk 2423 Uniform. Uniform, Anchorage Approach, flight 0144. 2423 Uniform, primary radar only. Uniform, safe position. Currently just north of Ski Lake, uh, about 4 miles, and northbound, 3,700. 23 Uniform, Roger. I won't be able to see you until you get about oh, 10 miles south of Fair Bear Lake. Give me a call then. 23 Uniform. All right, so we'll see that. I can't even take a squat code. Down to 5,000, the A345. So we'll wait another few minutes here, and then we'll try it out again. So the whole east side of Anchorage is kind of cleared out for VFR traffic to go through. It's kind of odd. It's a kind of
kind of a half Charlie airspace. And there are a lot of procedures that go in and out, a lot of reporting points, little things you need to be looking out for, uh, visual reporting points. And they expect you to know all these things going in. So it'll get pretty busy here in a few minutes. But so far, so good. This will be a lot easier when we have a transponder. Anchorage approach, 2423 uniform. Number 2423 uniform, Anchorage approach, safe position. 10 miles to the south of Baraba Lake and uh, northbound 3700. Cessna 23 uniform, Roger your radar contact. Advise any altitude changes where you headed? Merrill. Number 23 uniform, fly the Campbell arrival to Merrill. Anchorage Delta Number 29 or 62. We'll fly that arrival to Merrill, uh, 2423 uniform, thanks. So a quick few words on exactly what is happening to the airplane. So, of course, first of all, this airplane didn't have a transponder before. A transponder allows air traffic control to see where you're at, to see your altitude, and give traffic separation. So there's that component, but that's a pretty old technology. Now there's this newer technology that's come along called ADS-B. So ADS-B builds upon that original transponder technology now, where we have both ADS-B in and out. So if you can imagine ADS-B in is we're bringing in information that's gonna be traffic and weather. I've already had that information with the Stratus 2S, which also gave me some other great features like an AHARS and flight tracking. I've already had that, but it doesn't take care of the ADS-B out mandate, which is sending out a high fidelity or higher fidelity signal to air traffic control, which they are requiring by 2020. So that is also something that we took care of a couple years ahead of time here with this new transponder. So we get all of the features of the ADSB in while complying with the ADSB out. And it's overall just a really slick system in this Stratus ESGI. Beautiful day, wow. Barrel Tower 2423 uniform with you with Quebec and three south of the Tudor bus barn. November 23, correction November 2423 two, uniform, Roger, inner left base runway 25. Left base 25, 2423 two, uniform. So we'll be landing this direction, I see the field, I see runway 16, I see Anchorage proper. Beautiful day. Just looking on my toes. Zero five, extend downwind, plan to follow Cessna 172 over Tudor Beam Providence. Yeah, it's back. Extending downwind, uh, 205. November 2423, uniform. Number two, follow Cessna 172, turning left to base, just to beam regional at 700, wind 350 at 5, runway 25, clear to land. Clear to land, 25, number two, 2423, uniform, traffic in sight. All right, so I'm going to follow that guy in now. Merrill Tower, Steel 09, about a mile west, uh, sleeper strip inbound for touch and goes. Probably We're going to want to slow this puppy up. Steel 09, Merrill Tower, make right traffic on way 25. Right traffic 25, Steel 09. Steel 05, number two, follow Cessna 172, mile and a half left base, just to sign a Providence report that aircraft in sight. Uh, number two for 25, still looking for that traffic, Steel 05. Steel 06, extend left down. Send down one, Seawolf 06. Zero Tower, Seawolf 06, uh, I'd like to request a full stop on this one. Seawolf 06, I have your request, sir. Just go ahead and continue downwind, one departure prior to arrival. Continue downwind, Seawolf 06. November 52168, extend climb out to C Street. Extend C Street, 168. This will be a full stop, next one. November 168, Roger. Traffic will be holding in position. Continue downwind to 
Check ground. And ground on left on echo, two four two three uniform. We're on ground, two four two three uniform at echo for Northern Lights. November 2423 Uniform Merrill Ground, Texas, November Charlie Northern Lights. November Charlie Northern Lights, 2423 Uniform. Merrill Ground, Cessna 31, Niners and November is at the west. Reposition to November, Niners and November. And now we're going to get a transponder installed. Go talk to this guy that's going to be installing this. And then I can get out of here. It is cold. 20 degrees. And then meet up with Gary, who has been in the family business for years and years. Wow. Transponder antenna will be putting on your belly. The GPS antenna here is going to go on top. Gotcha. So I'm all done here at Northern Lights Avionics. Uh, talked about the different squawks that we have and also about the Apario ADSB transponder that we're putting in. So it's pretty exciting. Gonna fly home with a new toy. Kind of a toy, really a tool. Now it's a waiting game, being patient for the install to happen. So I'll be back in a few days. Back in Anchorage to pick up the airplane and my friend Kevin and I would be hanging out with the doggos at the airport. She spends her time with the white one a lot. <laughs> pretty attached so we try to keep them together. Hey puppies. They'll mellow here in a second. Hi. What's that fluffy thing? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> it's called a dead cat. Did you know that? Is that why you're sniffing it so much? It wasn't. After some fun with the dogs and getting some pictures for Instagram, I headed back to Northern Lights Avionics wow. where I would see the Stratus transponder set in the panel for the first time. Master, radio master. Ultimately, you, if you want to change the code, you can just dial it in manually. Uh -huh. Done. Or I've hit VFR, right? Or hit VFR, and VFR right. will drop you to 1200. So, gotcha. you know, we're testing here. And then VFR will take you right to 1200. Okay. Yep. Sounds good, thanks so much. Did you see it? Uh, not yet. Avionics master. Even with a fancy transponder now, I still want to do some flight planning for the flight back home, even though it was a beautiful bluebird day. Information Delta would like runway 16 southbound and uh, flight following, please. Three uniform squad 0116, 0116, departure frequency 126.4. We've got 0116 and 264 for departure 2423 uniform. Merrill Tower 2423 uniform holding short, runway 16 and mic ready to go. November 2423 Uniform, Merrill Tower, Campbell Departure, Runway 16, clear for takeoff, wind 020 at 3. Clear for takeoff, 16 on the Campbell Departure, 2423 Uniform. Alright, clear. This 950, you're well above the traffic now, contact Anchorage Departure. Alright, airspeed is alive. Engine is green. 2950, 1800, climbing 2500 for the practice area. Departure is 191. See Kevin down there behind me. Land 3 feet Charlie, no need to report. Runway 25, clear to land, wind 0, 2, 0 at 3. Clear Keep an eye out for traffic. We got a 
stayed up to uh, 1,200 feet until we get to Abbott, which is pretty far down here. Everything's working well, got all green. Nice and smooth, just beautifully smooth. So for the 2-3 uniform, contact Anchorage departure. Now over to Anchorage, 2-4 uniform, 2-3 uniform, thanks. Anchorage departure, 2-4, 2-3 uniform with you off of Merrill. November 23 Uniform Anchorage Approach, Ident Anchorage Oswinner 3023. Ident 23 Uniform. November 23 Uniform, verify you're one mile west of Campbell Airship 1300 southbound. That's firm, 23 Uniform. November 23 Uniform, your radar contact, Anchorage Oswinner 3023. 3023, 23 Uniform. Guys, very whiskey contact approach. Radar contact, yeah! 1183, your radar contact. to the northwest of the field now. Final's clear. Minute 9 from Meek Homer Airport to the Anchorage yeah, Airport quiet, via Homer VOR, then about. Stay out there a little bit too long, maybe. Might be able to get in the ground effect here, make it happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did it. 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 Overall, I'm really happy with the transponder so far. It's great to have the tools of ADSB and Stratus, and it also adds an extra layer of safety for my students, helps them learn how to talk to air traffic control a little bit better by getting flight following, and overall keeps us safer flying in the Alaskan skies. A huge thanks to Apario for the great unit and getting me on the radar. Also, Northern Lights Avionics for the smooth and professional installation process. Do you dream of being an aviator? Start your journey today at aviatortraining.com. There you can get the free downloadable private pilot action plan. Five things to do before your first flight lesson. Check us out on social media through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for coming along on this adventure, and I hope you'll join us on the next journey. Until next time, throttle on. <laughs>